Hello guys, Invictus Prime versus Art of War. This is the Town Hall 9 part. I'm not sure whether or not the 10 or the 9 section is going to go up first. I'll run through the stats quite quickly. Uh, 34 to 27 on 3 stars. Um, I struggled a little bit with our 9s. Art of War is an EWA member, CWL Premier League. Um, they've got YouTube and a Twitter. Check them out. Invictus Prime. We are in the league just below Premier. Rising contender. But we're working our way through the list. I'm going to focus on nines. We'll get straight in. Home Wrecker, I will call him. Because I've always read it as Home Wrecker. The Home Wrecker. And we finally see some hogs. Three golems. This is a fairly maxed out nine. These guys had good nines. We didn't get too many scouts after clearing nines. Um, I think they would have liked to have done a little bit better on our nines. Um, our nine bases have done quite well the last couple of wars and I don't know what it is because we haven't spent all that much time on them. That could be complete bullshit. I haven't built a nine in ages. Um, big golem kill squad push here with bowlers. He's going to trickle in a few hogs from the side just to alleviate these defenses. The CC and enemy queen went down quite quickly. Bowlers do hit a fair few of the big bombs. And the only real worry left is this Tesla farm. Wizzy Tower, cluster fuck up top. He's got a lot of hogs going in there with not a lot of health and not many of them are going to survive. But he does have the queen ability. There's a golem working on that wall. And hopefully that golem gets out in front of the queen and takes some of the fire. Bullers and King and that Wizzy just going to clear up all the trash on the outside of the base. Sadly, the Queen gets out in front. The Golem and Golemite aren't tanking shit, but she does have the ability. And now it's wrecked. Suicidal Hog raid from the Home Wrecker. I haven't talked through too many Town Hall 9 attacks. In ages. This is Akurazine. I'm only showing bases that got fresh hit. They had a few nines that did take three or four swings and I respect those bases and choose not to ruin them in case they plan on running them. Anytime a nine can soak up more than two, that's a good base. So baby dragon in front with the queen, the king, that was to suicide into this CC and the heroes. Got 22 loons. I can only assume another hound in the CC, so we're going to see a quad Lalo with a fuck ton of haste spells. And that portion of the attack is going to start only a minute 24 left in the replay, so the base is going to fall fairly quickly. Air bombs took out all his loons that were heading for that Tesla and the Wizzy Tower. So things will have to circle back around with that many hounds. It's just surgical looning. Rage spell through the core. Once that sweeper goes down, that's the worst of it. And a couple of loons in to pick up those defenses that he missed the first time around. Two hounds not popped, but does have pups everywhere. 
swag loon. So yeah, Art of War, hopefully they do fairly well in their premier bid. Um, as we say, that any clan that we war that's in a league above us that we do well against, we hope they do well. Form figures are something to be proud of. Got some dragons. Town Hall 9 dragons. Strange base, those air defences are just screaming, come get me, you can get all of me with a fairly big kill squad. So a couple of golems, a bunch of whizzies. Once the funnel's created, the CC bowler is king and queen can go in. Because it's a dragon raid, he's not too worried about the heroes up top. There's not many CCs that are going to take out a pack of dragons. And the queen doesn't stand a chance. So he saved a heal. He's got the heal on the bowlers. They are going to push through half the base before they fizzle out. Golems are going to tank a little bit. And the queen ability, once popped, takes out quite a few defenses. So he's got all his dragons... Up at the moment, they're going to chase the king around, deal with some air skellies. Can't remember if the queen lives. It looks like the queen... No, she's going to die. Archer Tower does target the queen. And now it's just time. Haste on the dragons doesn't really do a whole bunch. But I will times to it. All times for it. So all sorts of weird and wacky things going on in the next season. The Town Hall 10 tiering system has been introduced where they've tried to get away from people somewhat engineering lightweight tens without bomb towers and things which is cool it's good that the admins spotted a bit of a rick and tried to close that loophole only thing i would say it's interesting that we find out about it so late into like roster submission time it's not always easy when you're trying to have stability and continuity in a clan because that's what the CWL does want which makes sense because you want teams that are going to stay in it for a whole season but then right before the season starts you throw out that you might actually need some lighter weight 10s than you currently have or heavier weight 10s than you currently have anyway people will adapt all these air defences on this base obviously put the fear of heights into Shane because we got some more hogs. So the tier system that I was talking about, it's been put in place, but we still don't know what we're running as far as I know. I could be out of the loop. I'd assume you're going to need one, possibly two lightweight tens. The breakdown in the Rising League is only 3-8, so 3-11s, 8-10s, so it could be quite diverse. Having the lightweight 10s in the first season did work really well. Um, my original thoughts on weight in Certainly the top league, I don't know if they're you know, like even going to bother with it. But don't know if I... I'm going to go down the negative Jakey road here. But if it were me, I would just say if you're running 10s, you run 10s. And a max 10 is the ideal. A, it promotes upgrading and 
be it just takes all the doubt out of it. A 10 is a 10. If you want to run a somewhat light 10, that's your own prerogative. But we'll see the tier system, I'm sure, has been well thought out. And I'm sure it will work. I suppose if everyone runs max 10s, we may never see any 10v10s or less 10v10s. Dipping with 11s is just a bit meh at the moment. It is possible to fail dips, and you do see probably two to four failed dips per war. We have, not all by us, some by the other clan, but I do think 11v10 is not far off 10v9. That extra spell slot and the warden is just OP. And that's, I'm talking Lalo stuff, not just this bitch spam thing. But hey ho, we wouldn't fail them. I suppose not many 10s fail on 9s. And 11s do still fail on 10s, so it's not quite as easy, but I just don't think it's that far off. Ju a weaker here. Absolutely crushed this. This is the last one I was going to show, so I've waffled on again. If you sat through the 10 video and listened to me waffle on, thank you very much. You've sat through this so far. Fantastic. We do look forward to a prosperous season in the CWL. And we wish Art of War the best of luck. Thank you for arranging. We've got another one, I think, on a random. Let's see if it'll let me show it. Chosen Elite. These guys are also a premier clan. So good luck to them. Making our way through the Premier League here. We'll see you guys in the next one.